Okay guys, today I'm going to talk a little bit about what kind of buckets to use in your Dutch bucket aquaponic system. Now when it comes to me, I like to uh, make sure my stuff's much food grade, you know, I don't want to get a bunch of nasty stuff because after all I am growing it to eat. So I have two different buckets here. Um, I have this bucket right here, which is from... Uh, Lowe's it cost about three ninety seven a piece and this one right here which is from the hydro store and it's about eight dollars uh where I'm at and I have the regular white bucket lid and I have the six inch net pot. Now one thing about the bucket from Lowe's let's take a look inside. Oh yeah see all that algae the plant in here was growing like crap reason being you can't have algae and the roots and everything it's just not going to work so if you're going to use this bucket a white bucket you're going to have to do a little bit more work um, I did come across some insulation sheets that, um, that that this is reflective and it actually insulates the bucket to keep it cooler which is going to be a great point because these black buckets here in the summer they're going to get hot as heck now you can of course you can use the same insulation on it but either way no matter what you go with you're probably going to have to insulate it for heat, depending on where you're at and what kind of application. But I'm in Florida. It's very hot. I'm going to have to use it. Now, these white lids, when the plant's small and you got it up here in the, and you got it up here in the top of the bucket, it's just like a sun dome in there. So even if you got this wrapped up, that's going to allow algae to grow. So my recommendation is to take these and go, <whistles> no good. These right here cost me about $4 a piece. Um... You can probably find them cheaper. It does say on the back it is made with the, hopefully I can get that for you, sorry. And then number five, plastic, which I looked that up. And it says that it is, actually it doesn't say food grade, but it does, they do use it in food instances. So I'm thinking that that's probably going to be pretty good. So what I'm probably going to do in the future is, I was taking these buckets and painting them. But you know what, hey, I don't want to worry about getting paint inside of my um, system so what I want to do is I want to get the insulation use this bucket lid in those applications and that will hopefully be a nice food grade bucket no kind of nasties to worry about and it'll be a lower cost than this and it'll be easier to keep it cool now this bucket has a it's a it's high density polyethylene and it has the number two on the back there you know, and that's supposed to be good for to, good for uh, food as well. Not to store it in or anything like that, I don't think. But I've heard people talk about once it's black, it's it's no good. But I, I mean, I'm not a total crazy thing. I'm, I imagine half the stuff we bought from the grocery store, we wish it had been grown in a bucket like this, missing most of the stuff. So, anyways, that's a little synopsis on the buckets. I uh, hope this video helped you out. If you have any questions or any comments, go ahead and put them in the suggestion box and look forward to hearing from you. Thanks.